What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. So Major League Baseball in the Players Association had another meeting yesterday, and real shocker here, they left without a deal in place. And I think we all knew there probably wasn't going to be a deal during that meeting, but we are actually in real danger now of spring training being delayed. So here's a tweet from my boy, Jeff Passan. He said this, the meeting between the Major League Baseball Players Association and MLB is over. Little progress was made. The on-time opening of spring training at this point is in grave danger and, frankly, would take a miraculous deal coming together to rescue. A delay feels inevitable. So right now, we're 57 days away from opening day, if I've done my math correctly. And we don't have a collective bargaining agreement, okay? So th this is not looking very good right now for baseball. Now, a couple of key dates to keep in mind. The first one is February 15th. That's when pitchers and catchers report. Now, this is always a super exciting time of year, at least for me. This is when I get into baseball mode, right? You see, like I'm from the Boston area, so you hear about the truck getting packed up and heading down to Fort Myers to get ready to go for spring training. I start thinking about nice, warm weather. I think about palm trees, but now all I have to, I, I have to look outside and see three feet of snow, and when I go out there, it's going to be negative six, okay? So that's all I have to look forward to right now. So here's the bottom line. If we don't have a resolution to this whole collective bargaining agreement in the next week, then pitchers and catchers are not reporting on February 15th. I'll tell you that right now, okay? So forget about it. If they don't hurry up, that date is gone. And I would almost guarantee that there is no chance that pitchers and catchers are reporting on that date. Okay, so the date after that to keep in mind is February 26th. That is the first day of games in spring training. Now, players are probably going to need at least a week, maybe even a little bit longer to get ready for those games, especially pitchers. And that's the biggest thing to keep in mind here is that pitchers always take a long time to get ready, much longer than, than a hitter does. I mean, as a hitter, I mean, hell, you can throw me in a game tomorrow. I mean, I'll probably strike out every single time, but I'll be okay. I won't hurt myself. But as a pitcher, you can't just be like, hey, go pitch in a game tomorrow, even if it's just one inning, okay? Because a pitcher needs to ramp their arm up. Now, I'm sure that pitchers are ramping up right now, but it's a little difficult to get ramped up to the point that you need to be when you have no idea when you need to be ready by. And like we said, the way things are going right now, I'm assuming most pitchers are thinking, yeah, we're probably not going to be reporting at our normal date. So when do I really need to be ready by? Okay, and the last day to, to keep in mind is opening day, March 31st. All right, so we have some time until we get there, but it will take, if we get pushed back, let's say we get pushed back through February, it's gonna take a while to get ready for opening day. Like, we're not gonna be able to let players show up a week before opening day and be like, all right guys, we're ready to play. As I said, with pitchers, it takes a really long time. If you think about back to 2020, that shortened season, I think the season started on like July 23rd, I think it was, somewhere right around there. And I think players reported around July 1st. So what's that, 22, 23 days? Maybe it was July 24th that was the first game. It was, it was somewhere right around there. It gave them like 23 days, a little bit over three weeks of time. And I remember a lot of people complaining and saying that wasn't enough time to get players fully ready to go. And so I would think we need to give them probably about a month. And so if opening day is scheduled for March 31st, then I would say that by about March 1st, let's just say the first few days of March, like players are gonna need to report by then to really be ready to play. And if they're not, then almost without a doubt, this season is getting pushed back beyond March 31st into April. And then, and then at that point, like who knows, then we're probably in no man's land. And like, are we gonna have another like mid-summer start of the season. I don't really know what's gonna happen, but these are some dates to keep in mind about what's going on right now. Now, real quick before we go, because I, I saw this online, I thought this was interesting, that the Players Association is preparing to send all players in the Players Association a, a $5,000 check, monthly check. So uh, this is interesting. And to me, this is almost saying, yeah, you know, things are not going to happen here quickly like we're going to be we're going to be waiting around for a while and so we're going to start sending out checks to players so i thought this was interesting let me know if you guys have seen anything else about this i've seen some people talking about it but i don't think it's a good sign if they're talking about starting to pay players 
uh, right now, five thousand dollars a piece, which um, you know, I mean, for I guess for a lot of those players, it's like five thousand dollars a month. Like, you know, who really cares? I get paid tons, but there are there are we've talked about this before. There's a lot of players that although they make a lot of money, they're not white making anywhere close. You know, everyone assumes that everyone's making millions and millions of dollars, and and that's not the case with every player. But it's an interesting fact that they're preparing to send out monthly checks of five thousand dollars. So maybe they plan on on fighting here for a while and, and not getting things going and not getting spring training started. So let me know what you think about this. Obviously not great news. Hopefully things start to progress a little bit faster, um, but I, I don't have a great feeling about that. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step-by-step, step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.